Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna do the full range test for the Turboant X7 Pro. So I have the battery fully charged. I'm gonna do it under the fastest mode. Tires are pumped to 35 PSI, good to go. So this thing, they advertise 30 miles. That's again for a lighter rider. I'm around 200 pounds, probably a little bit over with my stuff on. And I'm expecting to get around 16 miles or so from this scooter. There are a few hills, nothing crazy, very, very mild hills. It's mostly gonna be the flats. Anyways, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, hit that subscribe button. Let's begin. I did the full range test in one go, as close to non-stop as possible, excluding stopping at red lights, stop signs, and stopping here for a minute or two to adjust something or change my GoPro batteries or take a sip of water. The whole test took about an hour and a half, and if you're wondering, is it comfortable? Well, the good thing is, after the ride was over, my back wasn't hurting and my knees weren't hurting, which is always a good sign. But in terms of comfort, I would say it's normal. It's definitely not the best because it doesn't have shocks, but it's also not the worst. The pneumatic tires definitely help, especially if you're on nice paved roads, and it also helps if you bend your knees. As far as top speed, I was able to hit 20 miles an hour, but only on a downhill. On the flats, I was only able to get to 19. That's probably thanks to my weight. If I was lighter, I could probably get to 20 on the flats. Now you can only get to those speeds when the battery is close to fully charged or fully charged. As the battery depletes, the scooter can't go quite as fast, especially when you're down to one bar. Now for the test, everything was good. I was able to do almost everything. I would say 99% of the trip. There was this one part where it was actually a pretty decent incline and I actually had to get off the scooter to go up this incline. But I don't blame them because they don't advertise the speed. So, you know, it was fine. It was just a short part of the trip. And once I got up the hill, it was good to go for the rest of it. Now, the whole thing, I climbed 628 feet or 191 meters. Now, I will fast forward to the part where the battery pretty much dies. Alright, that's it. It's done. It was like the let's try it again. Nope, that's done. Let's try it again. No, it's done. It's done. It's done. All right, guys, just finished the range test. We got 27.1 kilometers on this track point. We got 27.2 on this track point in terms of kilometers. So we translate that to miles. It's just a tad under 17 miles. Let's just say 17 miles to make it simple. So it's very close to what I guessed. I guessed 16 miles initially and it got 17. So that's around what I was expecting because I did hit a few hills. I was on the fastest speed. And on top of that, you know, I am around 200 pounds. So when they test this stuff, they test it with a lighter rider on the slowest mode with no hills. And so like that, I can see someone getting 30 miles, but I think it's much more realistic to maybe advertise this at, I don't know, 22 to 24 miles or something like that. And then if I get 17 miles, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely heavier, hit a few hills and it makes sense. So and initially the way it works uh, at when the battery is fully charged you could get faster speeds as the battery depletes you get slower and slower speeds and it has more trouble going up the hills anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below is 17 miles good for the scooter uh yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one